Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Ms. Sandra Curl will now come forward for the invocation. Young people, Sampson County Board of Education and Sampson Community College Board of Trustees are so very proud of you. Will you bow with me in prayer? Kind Heavenly Father, we thank you for this group of young people who have worked hard and achieved what they have achieved. We thank you for their families that have stuck with them. We thank you for the staff and faculty and administration of early college that have worked so hard with these young people. As they leave here, whether they go into workforce or whether they go on to get a higher degree, we hope that they will always turn to you and trust in you for your guidance. As we leave here tonight, we pray that we will have traveling mercies with each and every one of us as we go to our home place. In Jesus Christ's name, your son who died on that cross to save us from our sins. In his name we pray. Amen. Good evening, graduates and guests. A special thank you for your attendance today. This evening, it is an incredibly special occasion as we celebrate Sampson Early College High School Class of 2024. We ask that all guests refrain from any shouting or any other disturbances during the ceremony. Please hold all applause until the end of the ceremony. As each graduate receives their diploma case, they will be asked to stop on stage to take a picture with the photographer before exiting the stage. We ask all guests to remain seated until the ceremony is complete. And graduates and staff have all left the auditorium. Graduates, after graduation, please report to the holding room to receive your diploma. Now I would like to welcome and introduce Ms. Ashley Stanley. She is the Early College Teacher of the Year for 2024. At this time, I would like to introduce our special guest, when I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Dr. Jamie King, Superintendent of Sampson County Schools. Dr. Wendy Cabral, Assistant Superintendent of Sampson County Schools for Human Resources. Jennifer Daltrey, Secondary Education Director of Sampson County Schools. Valerie Newton, Parent and Community Engagement Director. John Good, Career and Technical Education Director, Sampson County Schools. Dr. Wesley Johnson, Clinton City Schools Superintendent. Ms. Sandra Carroll, Sampson County Schools Board Vice Chair, Sampson Community College Board of Trustees member. Dr. Bill Starling, President of Sampson Community College. And Emily Brown, Sampson Community College Director of Academic Services. Thank you for your attendance today and the support you give our students. At this time, Mr. Strickland will recognize the top 10 graduates for the class of 2024. I would now like to recognize our top 10 graduates with the highest cumulative grade point averages from our graduating class this year. Students, please come forward remain on stage until all 10 students are called. Once all 10 students' names are called, then we can applause at the end. The names I'll be calling are alphabetically. Luke Gillis. Shayla Hernandez Zelaya. Skittle Hunter.
Jonathan Martinez Palma. Valeria Mendieta Garcia. Malin Morales Chun. Zilali Sanchez Hernandez. Diana Santiago Mejia. Dakota Warren. Eli Zavala. Top 10 seniors for the class of 2024. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you, students. Thank you, students. You may exit the stage. At this time, we would like to recognize the salutatorian of the class of 2024 who is ranked second in the graduating class with a grade point average. This is an outstanding achievement, and she has prepared a short speech. Please welcome to the stage our salutatorian for the class of 2024, Ms. Dakota Warren. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dakota Warren, and it's wonderful to be able to celebrate with all of you today. We were given the chance to attend Sampson Early College High School, and I couldn't imagine my life without that opportunity. The things I've learned and the people I've met, staff and students alike, have meant more to me than I could ever express. I would like to thank my teachers and everyone else who's given me a chance to prove myself over the last four years. It is through their guidance and support that this school has made a meaningful difference in my life, and I'm sure for many of my peers as well. I'd like to thank my parents for their love and support over the last four years. I don't think I could have done it without them. They taught me from a young age to do my best and take pride in my work, lessons I am eternally thankful for. In a world that tells us to do what makes us happy, they taught me to find meaning in my life, work, and relationships. They taught me to aim high, strive hard towards my goals, and be proud no matter where the cards fail. And for that, I can't thank them enough. To the family members here in support of our graduates, Thank you for being here today. You have worked hard to help them reach this point, and I'm sure you're all just as excited as they are to have that hard work pay off. I'm sure you all have also had some part in that success, and I'm sure these graduates are thankful for you as well. Graduates, as you prepare to leave this stage in life behind and step into the next, I encourage you to find something that brings you meaning, something you can be proud of. Some of you will be going to college, others entering the workforce, and still others may not know what you want to do in life yet. Regardless of your plans, find something meaningful, be it your relationships with family and friends, your work, your community, your church, something entirely different, or a combination of things. Find that meaning and take pride in it. Life may be just beginning for us, and I can't claim to be all that wise, but I do have faith that if you find something meaningful, something worth being proud of, then happiness will follow. No matter what path you take, or where you end up in life. Thank you. Ranking first in the graduating class is something many students aim for. 
but there can only be one valedictorian. Please welcome our valedictorian for the class of 2024, Ms. Zitlali Sanchez Hernandez. So first off, I would like to thank Almighty God because he is the one that gets all the credit for everything, for giving me life and providing everything I need to get through life. I also thank my family, the staff at this wonderful school, the high school and community college teachers, as well as everybody else, even the ones that work behind the scenes, for all their hard work that they put into the success of my school life. As we come today to celebrate this 2024 graduating class and the laundry that we each have taken, I would like to start off by talking about the decision I had to make to attend Samson Early College High School. When I learned about SECHS, I wasn't too interested in it since it would mean a new environment and at the time, I just wanted to go with the flow. However, my parents kept encouraging me to go since my older sister, who I give all of my credit to by the way, has already attended first. And as it is clear since I am standing right here, I did make that choice and it turned out to be one of the best decisions I ever made. When I found out I was going to be giving a speech today, I struggled to decide what my speech should be about, obviously. Yet I could not help but notice a reoccurring theme that kept coming to my mind, which I want to address not only to my younger freshman self, but to other students as well. I want to address the concept of not being afraid to try new things. If there is one thing in life that is unavoidable for all, it will be the concepts of risks. For many of us here, Taking the first step to attend this school was a risk. It's what I'm gonna be calling it a new thing because I have nothing else to say. As SECHS is now traditional high school, this school involves taking college classes at the beginning of freshman year. And not only that, if you include the choices to leave friends behind and making sacrifices to meet here today, these were all new things. And on top of that, Having to adapt to a school during a worldwide pandemic lockdown was a very new thing. But we as a class powered through them all, and today we get to reap the rewards. Not only do we have a high school diploma, but some of us also have a college degree, which is something you do not get in the traditional high school. For those going on, and the risks don't end there. For those going on to universities, that would be another new thing to face. But instead of focusing on the fear of the unknown, think about the end result, where you will find yourself in a cap and gown, once again walking across the stage and receiving your new degree or certificate. As for other people taking other paths, like joining the workforce or entering the military, those paths will be full of many new things. Yet no matter what path you choose today, look beyond the shadow of new things and strive for the reward ahead. I'm sure I'm correct when I say that all the adults here tonight are all here because they took these risks and tried the new things in life. They serve as our examples that trying new things isn't always bad. So fellow graduates, do not be afraid or intimidated to look to your elders and your peers for guidance and encouragement. They are here to stand by you as you try new things. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but that is not an excuse to give up. Take every opportunity you seek, ask all the questions you can, and face every new thing that comes your way with the courage that, in the end, it might be one of the best things that took place in your life. Attending this school was a new thing for me, and I can confidently say it was a wonderful new thing. Now, let us all celebrate the reward for trying to get this new thing, as well as our pursuit for all the new things yet to come. Congratulations to all of you. And this week. Our students have worked hard during their time at Samson Early College. Some have gained acceptance into universities and others have chosen to enter the workforce or join the military. Regardless of their future direction, these young men and women 
have shown that with commitment to pursuit of their personal best, they can and will have a successful future. The faculty and staff at Sampson Early College High School are incredibly proud of you. We wish you success as you begin to write the next chapter in your story. At this time, we will begin the presentation of diplomas. Marshals, please come forward. Out of respect for the graduates and their families and to preserve the dignity of the occasion, please refrain from excessive celebration until all graduate names have been called. Graduates, please wait at the top of the stage steps for your name to be read before you proceed to walk across the stage to receive your diploma. Jaritza Janelli Alejandro. Brandon Alleman. Luis Angel Alviar Flores. Uziel Ayala. Riley Simone Burt. Zachary Blanchard. Kara Rachel Brogdon. Jaira Danae Bowie. Bertha Isabel Campos Gonzalez. Ruben Uziel Cruz. Angel Delgado. Amy Diaz Paz. Guillermo Diaz Villasenor. Emmanuel Elias Solano. Madison Giselle Espinoza. Ronald Luke Gillis. Callahanna Goodman. Lucero Guzman Gaspar. Angel Miguel Hernandez. Shayla Gabriela Hernandez Salaya. Jennifer Brooke House. Skittle Renee Hunter.
Francisco Abara. Allison Jordan. Devin Farrell Lewis. Emilio Elicio Lira. Kalea McKeithen. Mira Nicole Melvin. <clears throat> Valeria Yud Mindieta Garcia. Henry Fabricio Meza Benegas. Malin Betsabe Morales June Ariel Morales Morales Emily Giselle Pasquel Abanez Melanie Gabriella Pasquale Abanes. Fabiola Patlan Patlan. George Elias Paz. Ricardo Perez. Cameron Brooke Pippen. Jessica Rivera Trejo. Jeanette Rosales Mondragon. Isis Mariel Ruiz Nunez. Zitlali Sanchez Hernandez. Diana Vanessa Santiago Mejia. David Keith Skaggs. Abigail Grace Smith. Camry Gabrielle Smith. Kimberly Nayeli Torres. Jose Angel Ventura Cruz. Jairo Victoria Monroy. Dakota Warren.
Marissa Cheyenne Faye Williamson. Eli Alexine Zavala. Congratulations, graduates. Thank you all. On behalf of our staff, I congratulate each of you on your accomplishments. I want to thank all those who are here today, family, friends, parents, and the like. Uh, this is a really good class. This is class of 2024. Some of them came here five years ago. Some of them it was four years ago. And um, we love this class, the faculty and staff, each and every one of us. Um, You've all grown in so many ways over the last four or five years. And um, I want to take you down memory lane just a little bit. Sometime during your eighth grade year, you made a decision to apply to the early college. And you knew that making that decision, getting in would not be easy. Well over 100 people per year apply. And we only accept around 50 or 60. So you, you knew it was not gonna be easy to get in here, yet you knew there was a chance you would probably um, leave some close friends behind who went to traditional high schools. Uh, you knew there wouldn't be sports, you knew there wouldn't be a band, and you knew that it would all be new. Everything was gonna be new. Your classmates were gonna be new. Uh, your teachers were gonna be new. Your comfort zone that you were used to at your middle school or with your group of friends whether you were from Midway or Hobton or Clinton or whatever school you were from, you know, that comfort zone um, was all in jeopardy when you apply here. And all those things, um, the application outweighed all of those things and you applied and you took a leap of faith to join us and, and get into the college. So it was a great thing, um, even with all the unknowns that you had. It is a, a noble thing for an eighth grader, a 13 or 14 year old to do is make a decision to say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change schools and I hope I get into the early college. Your um, classmates have talked about how they got two degrees and how you guys have gotten two degrees and that's so amazing. And even the ones that didn't get a degree, all those college transfer credits that you have that you can use to go on to a college, um, even if it's not now, you can still have those credits. So the early college is a good fit for a lot of students, and we're happy that you chose to come to us. We're happy you took that leap. Um, you worked hard, and you did your best. Uh, so, so much of your life is going to be like that. You're going to have to take a leap of faith into the unknown. And always, always, the hardest step to make is the next step. So when you leave here tonight, you gotta make that next step, just like you did when you decided to turn in that application as an eighth graders. So we wanna let you know that we support you, we're here for you, if you ever need anything, the college and the early college is gonna be here for you. Our faculty and staff, teachers, support group, uh, Sam's Community College and the early college, you know, they're, they're the best, the best of the best. The classroom instruction that you received has been the very best. They pushed you academically, pushed you into a believing um, you can accomplish things that you normally wouldn't accomplish. And for that, I'm thankful for all these people on the stage and the people out here too that are really in the trenches with you every day, 90 days per semester, 180 days per year. They're the ones who see all your talents and tap into your talents. So you, you guys are better people today because of our faculty and staff, and we're better people because of you. That's how it works. So 
at many graduations, I, I stood up here and I like to quote famous people or famous verses of men and women. And uh, all those quotes are great, but I feel like today that in so many graduations that I might start reusing some of those quotes. I, I've been in so many graduations. So I'm not going to do that today. I'll just simply say uh, you're special, but you're not invincible. So stay humble and be good to yourself, be good to other people, and never forget where you come from. Honor your parents and your loved ones now and for the rest of your life. Congratulations and kudos to the class of 2024. No matter where life may take you, you will forever be an eagle of the class of 24 Sampson Early College High School. Congratulations to all of you and God bless. Now the moment we came for, graduates, please stand and face the audience. <laughs> By the authority vested in me in the state of North Carolina, pronounce you graduates of Sampson Early College High School, you may now turn your tassels. We would like to thank those in attendance tonight for your support. And we ask these things as we leave instructions. We ask that all guests stay in their seats until the ceremony is over and graduates and staff have left the auditorium and stage. Please follow the directives of our marshals and staff for an orderly exit. If you would please stand for the graduating class of 2024. Thank you all. <laughs>